question for you, Cordell. Like mm-hmm. you have been mentioned before that your connection with Serena was like different than anything you've ever felt with anybody else. And that's very apparent, obviously, because of like you didn't let the guys get in your head about, yeah. you know, choosing Dea um, over Serena. And so even though they tried hard to persuade you, mm. of course, but we want to know what makes this Cordina love so special. Um, it's just like the fact that I've been able to connect someone connect with someone in this amount of time is just what's crazy to me. Like I I'm not I'm not the type to really like someone that fast or see something that can go somewhere else that fast. And like when I first had that conversation with her, the similarities, it was just crazy. Everything was just like lining up. And I'm like, damn, this shit is kinda weird, but I yeah. like it. You know, I'm, I'm gonna go with it. You know, see where it goes. So you know, and, and I'm glad I did stick with you know what I was feeling. Um, regardless of everything that was going on, she was moving at her pace, at her pace, and I respected that. And that's the one thing that drew me even closer to her because I could tell she was different, and I like that. You know, I, I like the things about her that it just said something differently off for me, and it's like you know. I can't, I can't help it. You know? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's like, speaking of like sticking with it, what was it that made you want to keep <clears throat> pushing to be with Serena post Casa? You know, she was like mad at you, but you were patient. You essentially like waited for her to come around, even though there was like no guarantees. Like what made you want to do that? Yeah. Um, because she showed me her feelings. That's how she was. Like, that's how she was feeling. I don't think that I didn't take it as mad. Like, yeah, she was mad, of course. But, you know, she was also hurt. And you know, I I seen that, see I seen her crying, I seen her the I heard the pain in her voice as she was expressing to me how she felt, and that just made me I was already feeling for her, and that just made me feel for her even more, and that made me realize like, damn, I really like this girl, and I need to do something before I lose her. Yeah, and, you know, that's what I did, not because I I had to, but because I wanted to, because I really <clears> felt <throat> how, you know, things has been going for us in the villa. And it can go on the outside world. That's the main thing that I've, I've been seeing. I'm like, damn, this shit really can go somewhere when we get out here. I'm I'm ready for that. So, like, even, even like, every um, recoupling or people was going home, I always would tell her, like, you know, regardless of what happens, if we go home, I'm going to be happy because we're going to go home together and we're going to work this out. So, yeah, that shit was real. real. <laughs> Black love. Black love. 